Greetings YouTube, this is Fragments of Memory once again. Now, I just got through watching a video of a friend of mine and he's just talking about some situations that he's in. Now I won't put his business out there, but he mentioned that due to him working a lot, it, it took its toll on his on his form, on his body. And this got me to thinking about our current culture in these United States of North America. I've, I've noticed that we live in a culture that is rush, rush, and constantly work, work, rush, rush. Now, let me provide the caveat of work in and of itself is not a bad thing. Working to support your family or to have income coming in for yourself is not a bad thing. It's a laudable thing. It gets to be a problem when your labors, when your work begins to take a toll on your on your health. I just really thought about that, how we are in a rush to go nowhere. If you look out on the streets in traffic, everybody's in a rush only to be stopped by a stoplight. <laughs> But yet we're willing to cut people off on the road. We're willing to damn near, excuse my French, run people over. And for what? And that's just something that has been brought to my mind. Why do we always feel like we need to be in a hurry? And with the advent of technology, just technology in general, technology has made our lives simpler. It has made our lives easier. However, now that we're dependent on this technology, we're in such a rush, even though the technology was supposed to cut down on your time, it seems to have only increased it. And we always try to do more than we should. We want to pack a week in a day. I remember once sitting in on a Bible study and a woman talked about we live in an instant culture. You go to the supermarket, you have instant food. You go to fast food restaurants, there's instant food right there. Instead of, hey, let me go out and get the, the ingredients and let me slow cook the food. As I noticed, um, I went to an Ethiopian restaurant and a woman explained to me how the food was prepared. The food was slow cooked at the beginning of the day, so by the middle to the end of the day, there was a really good meal. Where in America we have the microwave, you know, we have DVDs and DVRs, and I'm not attacking those forms of technology, but I noticed that we don't have patience anymore and this is also me i i say this to myself where i find myself having to be in a rush i have myself wanting to just get it over with and back to that lady at that bible study and she was making a point that we even have instant spirituality and I think that one spirituality is something that is cultivated over time. It doesn't happen in like a one moment like flash like that. And sometimes those one minute flashes are merely the beginning to something bigger. However, we miss the boat. We expect instant enlightenment. Now that may happen for some people. That doesn't happen for everyone. So I think it's Foolish on our parts to try to rush and hurry our spiritual path, our path of physical fitness, even relationships. Relationships are cultivated over time. I think in our hookup culture, we have a, we have a serious hookup culture in America. I don't know about around the world, but there's this encouragement for everyone to just kind of casually hook up. Or you can smash through this and smash through that. And unfortunately, there's no real substance anymore.
Everyone complains, I can't find a good man, I can't find a good woman, I can't find a good hermaphrodite, whatever your orientation might be. And it seems that there's no real development of a relationship. It's sort of like, if I can't get a, make a connection with you in the first five minutes, later for you. And sometimes I think that can harm us and deprive us of some some good contacts. Now, sometimes I'm not saying that if you feel something is going bad in the first five minutes and you need to get out of there, fine. However, I found that I've had good associations and friendships from people whom I initially felt awkward around or felt strange around. So I just I just think it's it's a bit, it's about time and people forget. People are in a rush. I remember being a part of this this one study group. It was sort of a spiritual study group and some of the young ladies in that group were like this is going too slow. I I want to experience this spirituality now. I want it now and that's our problem in this country. I think we have a I want it now mentality. We have this sort of if it didn't happen in two seconds, forget it, I don't want it. And that's not really how we should be. We need to realize that good things cultivate over time. Even when you plant a seed in the ground, it takes time for the seed to be nourished and the nutrients to get to that seed and then the seed to germinate and sprout and grow and then bear fruit. It doesn't happen like this. Too often, I think, we are caught up in our own magic due to cell phones and delivery and pizza delivery and food delivery and fast food and the internet and all of this. Though these are great inventions. We have forgotten what it means to be patient. We have sometimes we have lost our patience. And if nothing ha if results don't yield in a day or in an hour, we're frustrated and don't care about it anymore. And it's natural to be frustrated when things don't seem to pan out for you, but to dismiss something, to dismiss everything. Simply because, excuse me, drinking some of my Earl Grey because I do love the Earl Grey tea. But to dismiss something simply because it didn't come easily is foolishness. That which we obtain easily, we esteem lightly. I believe it was either Thomas Paine or Thomas Hardy or somebody with the name Thomas that said that. And too often we... We obtain things too easily and then we don't care about it. But the things that we put our labor into and the things that we've invested time and energy into, we we appreciate it. And I think our culture lacks appreciation. We don't appreciate anything. And I throw myself in this. This is not to attack anyone. This is not to say that people are horrible. This is just one of those facets of human nature that I think we need to work on. We need to correct. We need to realize that things don't happen in a day. They don't happen. Sometimes they don't happen for years. And then, and then boom, when you least suspect it, it happens. Merely giving my two cents on this lovely Saturday morning. So, please comment, of course, down in, down there. Or you can give me a video response. Or you can like or unlike, just as long as you give me a view. And at least let me know what's going on. Take care.